So you're on pay to play websites and you're trying to figure it out and you're trying to get the hang of it and you're frustrated and you just want to know what other options there are to make a living in voiceover that don't include pay to play. Awesome. Let's talk about it. Stick around. We're going to cover it in this video. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. <laughs> It, it looks something like this. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Gift of Gab. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what I'm doing and you like the content I'm putting out, please do the whole like and subscribe thing. You know, it's kind of important. I appreciate it. Today, we're going to talk about pay to play websites. I have a video about pay to play that you may have already seen, and I get asked quite often on this video in the comments, what alternatives are there to pay to plays for beginners? It's a great question. We're gonna have a Gabby moment of truth, okay? Um, literally, come to Gabby, okay? We're gonna get really personal, you and me, and talk about this. The answer to what are the alternatives to pay to play? There aren't any. Oh? Seriously. There is no apples to apples equivalent that is similar to the way a pay to play works and operates that is gonna be a reasonable alternative for you to find voiceover work. That really just isn't a thing. However, regardless of whether you're a beginner, an intermediate level talent or a seasoned pro, I will tell you what you can do besides pay to plays in general in your career. Let's talk for a second about why pay to plays are so horrible. Um, seriously, guys, I hate them. They're kind of a mind fuck. They're like an old school gladiator style contest where all of these people who do the same thing are being pitted against one another. And the worst part is we pay for it. It's terrible. Um, there's really very little to anything that I actually like about the pay to play model. And I can tell you it is awful for one's self esteem. And it is really, really bad when you find yourself questioning what's wrong with you. It's not what's wrong with you. The question is what's wrong with the system? What's wrong with pay to plays? That's what I want you to ask. So you're out there, you're on these sites and yeah, you're wondering, what have I done wrong? Nothing. You've probably done absolutely nothing wrong in your pay to play encounters. It's just the nature of the way those sites work that makes them so difficult. So what are the alternatives? The alternatives are the same for everyone and they're exactly what you should be doing if you want to cultivate your own career because that's it. It's about cultivation. It is about using Google, social media, and your resources, your friends, your family, your contacts to pursue opportunities, to talk to, meet with, engage people that hire voiceover actors on a regular basis. You're looking to make connection with audio producers, advertising agencies, content creators, audiobook makers, e-learning companies, anyone and everyone that is a hiring party for voiceover actors, but importantly, hiring direct. And a lot of clients are. In fact, most are. I have not been a paid member of a pay to play website in I think over a decade. And yet that has no bearing on my business. I'm still able to bring in work every single day in this business. That's what you're doing. It's relationship building. It's making yourself as a business owner and service provider valuable and accessible to the people who are looking for your services. So instead of playing around in the cesspool that is pay to plays, Ew! get out there, meet people, engage people. And I, I mean, I get it, right? When I say meet people, I don't necessarily mean face to face email social media, direct messaging, phone call, whatever method you prefer, but start meeting, mingling, networking, and get yourself out there. It is way better for your well-being. It's way better for your psyche. You're gonna feel better about your efforts instead of constantly feeling like, I auditioned for a job and it went out into the void. 
and I have no idea what's ever going to happen. Instead, when you start networking and you start creating relationships with people, you can actually get valuable feedback from them. So best case scenario is you're booking work. Worst case scenario is you're actually getting feedback about your submissions and the work that you are submitting for jobs to get better and to improve. Pay to play, unfortunately, really doesn't give you that. One positive thing I will say about pay to plays is a lot of them have free listings and you should create one and have one because it helps in your Google search results. It helps you to make sure that you are available and findable in more places on the web. And for that reason, having a free listing is no harm, no foul. So if you've been DIYing this voiceover thing and you realize it's finally time to bring in a professional, good, I'm glad you're here and I'm hoping that I can help. Here is a video that you can check out that I've made. It has a ton of advice and a lot of different answers to the questions that you probably have. It's an easy watch and it's a guide to getting started in voiceover. Here's the link and I'll put it in the description.